is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I just want to fir first start off by saying uh, I am Arika Misha. Uh, thank you for coming over to my YouTube channel. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to all of those who are not subscribed but you still watch my videos. I appreciate everything you do for my channel. Um, so today, this is a part two. Make sure you go watch part one. I will leave it linked in the description box below so that you guys aren't behind. So basically, this is part two of the uh, budgeting series that I'm doing, just a, a one and two. So this is part two, talking from my experience uh, in reference to budgeting, you know, being a single mom, budgeting my money, things that I went through in life, why I didn't always budget, struggling. <laughs> And, you know introducing myself to the whole budget world the budget life and things got better so now make sure you guys go watch the first part you know why talk about some key points key points from my experience not judging nobody else not none of that cuz I don't do none of that here do not judge yet yet how does it go do not judge yet lest ye be judged don't don't judge mm -mm. only God can do that baby only God can judge me so, all right, so let's get into this second part. Make, like I said, make sure you guys go watch that first part because I don't want you to be like, oh, what, what's this? What's going on? So make sure you go watch the first part while I talk about the key points. And this second part of the uh, budgeting series, um, I made, I created two uh, fake budgets. I mean, they're not real budgets, y'all. Now y'all know I ain't gonna have y'all in my business like that, man. Come on. <laughs> anyway, like, come on now, y'all. Don't, don't be on people in your business like that. But I have created two fake budgets whatever two budgets and you know um i'm gonna show you guys you know um a good budget uh well how can i say it uh a regular nah i, I can't really say that because uh both of these budgets are uh, reflecting my life where i was at one point and where i'm at now so um i have oh let me just say this i have one budget where it's in the positive and then i have another budget where it's in the negative you know so let's get into it i'm gonna move my camera around so that you guys can see the two fake budgets i created we'll start with the first one first let me get there okay guys i am back i will edit all that moving and spinning around out okay so let's get into it so this is budget example number two i'll show you guys one first i just wanted to do this one that's in the negative first okay so all right, so as you guys see, let me get my pen out like I'm a school teacher. All right, so as you guys can see, on this side right here, I have the bills. And on this side right here, I have the income. So just an example, rent 800, light 100, phone 100, car 250. I mean, these are the basic bills that we all have every month. Um, well, some of us, you know what I mean. Car 250, insurance 100, cable 100, daycare 400. I just base that like, like off $100 a, a week. Um, groceries three hundred dollars just you know made up a basic amount for you know a family uh, a mother with kids all right so the total two thousand hundred and fifty dollars so let's go over to the income now these are just example guys um, okay check number one eight hundred dollars this is what you're bringing in every two weeks eight hundred dollars and check number two eight hundred dollars so that puts you at sixteen hundred dollars a month so I just wrote this down so you know ain't all professional um, but anyway, y'all, so the total $1,600. So this puts you, basically, your total income, $1,600. Your total bills is $2,150. So that puts you a negative $550. So see, you are already in the negative. You you are already, you know, behind. You are already struggling. And, and this, you know, I was already behind. I was already struggling. You know, I'm not judging nobody. I'm just reflecting this on myself. So see, I was already behind. I was already struggling. Bills higher than my income and you guys clearly see that so negative 550 dollars so that's gonna have you struggling that's gonna have you behind that's gonna have you robbing peter to pay paul like like you know the older people say <laughs> robbing peter to pay paul so yeah and as you guys can see from this budget it's it's and there's no room for nothing there's no room for if your kids need something and you know there's no room for nothing if you see something you want to buy your kids, if your kids need some new shoes, some new clothes or something for school, there that that gives you nothing. That was giving me nothing. Nothing to do, nothing to play with. You know, if I saw something I want a little cute shirt or a little purse or a little, you know, a little makeup, I, I had nothing. Y'all see right there. Just just giving y'all examples. You know, I had nothing. I got nothing here. So, all right. So, let's go now. I'm going to bring y'all down. 
because I wrote down some things at the bottom here. Wrote down some things at the bottom here. I don't know if I'll be able to get it all in, but okay. So make sure my lighting is good. Take y'all in a little bit more so y'all can see it. Okay. So hopefully y'all can read my handwriting because y'all, I just you know chicken scratch this down. All right. So okay. So see, since I'm in the negative, bring income up. That's one of the, these are these are things that you can do to help make your um to bring this negative into a positive. Bring income up. A raise at work. Um, create another stream of income. Uh, pay off a bill. Example, like your car payment. Uh, cut back on, on lower uh, cutbacks, like lower light bill. Energy saving, you know? Phone bill. A cheaper phone plan. Lower monthly insurance. Make some changes on your insurance. Maybe you can get cheaper insurance. Uh, change your cable plan. Uh, cut back on grocery spending and as you guys can see all of these things These are some of the things that I changed to help my budget bring my budget down See because in the meantime, I already had a plan. I said, okay, I'm gonna work hard I'm gonna apply for positions. That's gonna pay me more that I qualify for See, we can't be applying for positions that we don't even qualify for because unfortunately you might not get it Some companies will just give it to you because whatever, but that's a whole nother video But all right, so I have this is what I said. Okay now that since I'm in the negative, I got to do something. So I said, okay, I'm going to work hard at work. I'm going to apply for positions that's going to pay me more money. So that's the first thing I said. Um, create another stream of income. So I said to myself, okay, so since I've learned about couponing, I could teach other people and charge for my service. See what I mean? Create another stream of income while you're getting money. So that's what I did. I said, hey, I can do... Hey, I can teach other people how to coupon and I can just charge them up. You know, you don't want to do too much because people ain't going to want to pay too much, you know. And, then, and, you know, guys, you know, this is all, you know, prior to the pandemic. But even still to this day, people are still taking my couponing classes because especially with everything going on, people want to learn how to save their money. So anyway, guys, so create another stream of income. And like I said, what I did, I said, okay. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to apply for positions at work, and while I'm applying for these positions, in the meantime, the bill's still coming now. So I had to create another stream of income, so that's when I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, teach other people how to coupon. So I learned how to coupon, so I'm going to go ahead and teach other people how to do it. And you know what? I can um, charge people a fee for me teaching them how to coupon. And that's what I did. Okay, pay off a bill, example like a car. You know, I mean, I mean, I know that's pretty big, but I'm just, you know, doing an example. Um, like what I did with my car is when I got my income taxes, um, what I did is I went ahead and paid my car off. See, see what I mean? That way I don't have that $250 every month. So you got to be smart, got to be smart about it. And did I want to pay that big chunk? No, I didn't. But you know what I said? If I go ahead and pay this car off, I ain't got to worry about car payments no more. Hello. Oh, I'm finna do that. I'm finna do that. But you know what? It wasn't all my tax. It wasn't all. I'm not gonna say that. It was a nice chunk, you know? It was a chunk. But I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get that paid off so I ain't gotta worry about that. See, that's what I mean. If you can pay off a bill, like say you get your taxes, you know? And of course, you know, it's a little chunk, like $1,000 or $500 or $600. A bill you can pay off, pay that off. Pay that off. I know as a single mom, we ain't got we ain't got a thousand, two thousand, three thousand sitting around like that to pay off no car. We ain't got no seven, eight thousand dollars to pay off no car. So like I said, what I did once I got them payments down, reasonable enough, I said okay when I get my taxes, I'ma use a little chunk and go ahead and pay this car. That way, I ain't got that two fifty every month. I had to be smart, y'all. Okay, so cut back on the light bill. Oh, yeah, y'all should have seen me. I cut back. I, I was telling the girls, hey, don't be having no lights on. Don't be having no unnecessary, light, unnecessary lights on. If you got a light on in your room, you need to be in there. You need to be in there. Why is that light on and you ain't in there? Hey, that, and then also, too, I got with my light bill company about ener energy saving. You know, little they give you little tips about energy saving. I did that. Got that light bill down. I'm telling you, my light bill was like $100, $150 a month. I got that mug down to $70 a month. There are things you can do, y'all. There are things y'all can do. I'm telling y'all from experience. Uh, phone bill, cheaper plan. Oh, yeah. I got a cheaper plan with Metro. I've been with Metro forever. Um, But, yeah, I got a cheaper phone plan. Yeah, I was like, um, just give me the basic 
as long as you know I had a y'all know how as long as I had a little internet and you know the look the little able to go online and all that stuff just give me give me that I don't need no hundred two hundred dollar plan now nah, Metro because you know I have my my um my 15 year old I have her on my plan y'all know so I was like okay I'm on my at first it was just me then I added her I was like okay let's we don't need nothing fancy we don't need nothing fancy we just need the basic and you know kids they want to get on the internet they want to get on YouTube hey YouTube you know so um, I may I got a cheaper phone plan see these are little things that y'all can do to lower it lower your bills down Okay, so monthly insurance talking about the uh, car insurance see now y'all gotta remember see now that I paid that car off We all know when you're financing a car you have to have that full coverage But now that I've paid the car off. I don't have to have full coverage. See what I mean? So now my monthly insurance is going down because I paid the car off I'm telling y'all, these are little things that, you know, sometimes we don't think about. All right. Oh, the cable plan. I told y'all about the cable plan. Hmm, $135, $145, $50 a month for cable. Forget that. I found out about Roku. I said, okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get rid of this cable plan. And all I need is the basic internet. I don't need fast speed in a hurry internet because it don't be fast speed in a hurry. I done had that before. It don't be, it don't be fast speed in a hurry. They can stop that. Anyway, y'all, that's another video that I ain't going to make. Anyway, so, all right, so, um, the cable plan, I changed my cable plan from the, you know, the cable where you get like 5,000 channels that you don't even watch and you're paying $150 a month. Yeah, y'all, I had to change that. So, um, like I said, I got the Roku stick. It's only, it depends on where you get it from. Walmart got it for $20. Walmart got it for $25. Amazon got them online. I, I just got, if y'all seen my, um, um, I know y'all saw my Amazon unboxing the other week where I got that Roku from Amazon for like $25. I mean, Amazon got them for $20, $25. Walmart got them. If you want to just go into your local Walmart, you don't want to go on Amazon and get it, go into your local Walmart. Get your Roku stick. Pay your little $25, $30 for your Roku. you just paying for the Roku. That's it. One time. Paying for the Roku. And then you have that internet. I have my monthly $35 a month internet with my um cable company. So, I just got that. See? Notice how I did that? Now, I'm only paying, instead of paying $135, $145 a month, I'm only paying $35 a month. For the um internet see y'all it's little things like this i'm telling you help me it makes a difference okay cut back on grocery spending y'all already know i told y'all about the whole spending which is you know me learning about couponing and i turned it into a second source of income couponing classes teaching people how to coupon hey y'all y'all who watching who took my coupon couponing classes hey y'all appreciate that but yeah you get that knowledge get that knowledge i got that knowledge it became power. I started making money, boo. Started making money, extra money on the side. Forget that. I'm telling you. I would I would charge a single fee. I would charge a husband and wife fee. A family fee. I'm telling y'all. I'll, I'll be teaching them coupon classes. Making my money on the side. Because y'all know I stay on Amazon. <clears throat> anyway, so. Alright, but like I said, that's in my budget. That's in my monthly budget, y'all. Y'all heard me. Alright, so this is example two. Like, you know, like a negative. I want to show y'all that. So, let's go back to my number one example. Let me show y'all. All right. So, let me take y'all up. Hold on. Hold on. Let me take y'all up so y'all can see the budget. Okay. All right. So, y'all see the budget. All right, y'all. Y'all know I just wrote this down, y'all. Don't, whatever, y'all. We, we getting this knowledge. That's what we doing. So, all right, so look at this. So this is budget example number one. All right, so as you can see, uh, we've got the rent, $1,500. We got the light, another example budget I made up, y'all. Rent, $1,500. Light, 150 Phone, 100 Insurance, 150 Like the car insurance or whatever. Cable or internet, whichever one, $80. Daycare, $220. It's all monthly. Monthly, I got it, y'all. Car, $250. YouTube, see? Now that you're doing YouTube, you've got it included in your budget. YouTube budget, 300, just made up a budget, y'all. It could be 100, it could be 200, what, whatever you want to do. You don't want, you still don't want to do too much now. You don't want this to put you in a hole either. So don't set it high and, you know, just start off low. Start, start it off low. Put it in your budget low, like, like $50, whatever it is you can do. Just do the little minimum first. And then, you know, as time goes on and you work it in your budget, you know, because you don't want to put a dent in your budget. You know, y'all know what I'm saying now. All right. And groceries, 400. This is just an example, guys. Groceries, $400 a month. Okay. So now look, the total, 
$3,150, that's your total. Now, let's go over here to your income. Y'all can see that. All right, income over here, $2,500 for the first check, $2,500 for the second check. We all pretty much know what we make, y'all. Whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, we know what we make. So, okay, so check number one, $2,500. Second check, $2,500. Y'all know that's $5,000, that's what you bringing in. So, and your bills are total $3,150. Let me show y'all, let me take y'all down. Take y'all down here, and once again, these two budgets are budgets that I just made up. I ain't telling y'all my personal business now. Y'all can't be doing that. Keep your business to yourself now. Don't put people in your business. Word of the day. Keep your business to yourself. But you know what? Any way you can help somebody get somebody knowledge, do it now. Be a blessing to somebody else. Be a blessing. Bless somebody else. God will bless you. All right, so here we go. So now we got uh, $1,850. $1,850 left. Because we subtracted, we subtracted the $3,150 from the $5,000, y'all. See, see how I'm doing it? Got my bills over here, my income over here. Okay, so we got, we got our total bills, subtracting it from our income. That gives us the $1,850 left monthly. This is what you should have left monthly. Let me go back over that. We got the bills over here, the total of all our bills. We got our income over here in red, the total of our income over here, guys. So... We're going to deduct our bills from our income. $1,850, guys. This is what we're left with monthly. $1,850. So, now, let me take y'all down because this is important. Okay? Yeah, you yeah you got you got extra money left over. You got $1,850 left a month. Okay, that's good. But that don't that don't mean just spend it because you got it now. That don't mean, ooh, ooh I'm going to spend all this up. No. You got you to gotta tuck back. Keep your coins. All right. So, here we got $1,850 left monthly. Okay, you know what you're going to do? Out of that 1850, you're gonna take a thousand, you're gonna save that. Put it in the savings account. See what I'm saying? Tuck it back. Put 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 it in your sock drawer. Put it in your panty drawer. What? Sorry, can I say that? God forgive me. But whatever, y'all. Y'all know what I mean. Put it, put it, tuck it back. If you don't want to put it in the bank, tuck it back. However you choose to do it. Right, that's that's y'all business. I'm just telling y'all, you know, from my experience. Okay, so we got 1850 left, thousand dollars. We're gonna tuck that back. We're gonna save that. We're gonna save that because we never know, especially as singles moms. We we never know. We never know. So when we need extra money, things pop up, things happen. All right, so we got $1,000. Ooh, we got $1,000 tucked back. Okay, so now that leaves us with $850, y'all. $850. Ooh, God, we doing good, y'all. $850. Okay, here you go. God dog and the kids need something. $300 pulling out that $850. Something doesn't happen. The kids need something. Need some clothes, need some shoes, need a school, something for school. Y'all know what I mean. Okay, $300 being pulled out of that $850 now. Okay, so now that leaves us with $550. And you know what, y'all? That's still decent. That's still a decent amount of money left over now. Come on now. So, now, what you going to do with that 550 Up to you. You know, you, you want to you wanna buy some things. You want to, you know, now, we're not talking YouTube. Because that, that, anything right here that's for your YouTube channel, that, that's there. So, if I want to buy myself a, you know, a pair of, uh, buy me a purse and buy me, you know what I'm saying? That's something that I want. That ain't got nothing to do with this. You know, I mean, I can buy it and put it on the channel, but y'all get what I'm saying. See, this what you got left. See, you now you know what? If you want to, you could take $200 out of that and put it in that with the set. You can put it in that with the savings if you want to. But I'm just trying to get y'all to understand. See, see what room you got left? See what room you got left? This is what a budget does. The budget lets you see how comfortable you can be. How comfortable you can be if you just budget and you just know where all your money going. Okay, when I get paid, I know, I know this is this and this is that. And this is what I'm going to pay. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm going to pay. This is when I'm going to pay it. And see, let me go over another thing real quick, guys. I want to go back up here because this is important, especially when you're budgeting. This is important. I want to make sure I share this with you guys. Now, you want to pay your bills according to when they're due we all know rent due on the first everybody know rent due first some landlords get you to the fifth we all know that so what you can do speaking from experience guys what you can do because this is 1500 that's a lot of money that's a whole lot of money i mean you can take it out of that too like 2500 you can do that take it out of that just going on but you know what is another good way of doing it Taking half of that 1500 from this check and taking half of it from that check. That way you're not putting a strain on yourself. Take half of the rent from here, half of the rent from there. See what I'm saying? You'll tuck it back from here and tuck it back from there. 
to give you your 1500 750 750 14 yep mm -hmm. that's what you do from each check that's an idea just giving you guys some ideas some scenarios things that I do you know because you don't you don't want to that's a, that's a whole lot to be giving out so you know what I'm gonna take half from here half from there and that way when it's due I got half from here half from that and that gives me more room here so and basically you set your bills up okay when the rent due we all know the rent. I'm just writing it in, y'all. We all know the rent due around the first. Chicken scratch that in there, y'all. Sorry, y'all. That's the first. First. I'm just going to put a one. It's due around the first. Light bills. Let's just say your light bill due around the 15th. Sorry, y'all. I wish I could write that better, but I'm reaching around the camera. All right. So, that light bill due on the 15th. Phone bill. Let's just... I'm making up some dates. Phone bill due on the 14th. Uh, insurance due on the 25th. Internet due on the 15th. Daycare. We know how daycare is. Daycare could be weekly. However you choose to pay, to pay it. Um, you, the, the key is you don't want to put a strain on yourself. Don't put too much on yourself. Don't be trying to take a big chunk out of each check. If you can split it up, split it up. So, okay. Daycare is $220 a month. That's $110. We got $110, $110 by weekly. So, you know what? We're going to do $110 and $110. We're going to take 110 from here and 110 from there. Just, you know, showing y'all some examples. We're going to take 110 from here and 110 from there. See what I mean? One check, we're going to pay 110. And the next check, we're going to pay 110. That way, that 220 paid. Um, I mean, most daycare bills I do weekly, guys. They do weekly. So, you just set it up. You get paid bi-weekly. I'm going to go ahead and pay this daycare bill bi-weekly. Because that's when I get paid. To avoid those late fees. Them late fees. Y'all, I'm telling you. I had some serious late fees with the daycare. I was like, God, dog, how my, how my late fees hide in my daycare bill? I'm telling y'all, been there, done that. Thank you, God, for deliverance. Thank you, God. All right, so we have the car payment. Most people's cars payments are due just making up something. Shucks, the 13th. I don't know, the 13th. YouTube, yup. You know, that's just, that's pretty much any time. Uh, but you know what? We'll do that bi-weekly too. 300, we're going to do 150, 150. See, so we'll do 150 from this check and 150 from that check. See, you want you want to split it up as much as you can, so you're not putting too much on yourself. Groceries, we know everybody pretty much go grocery shopping every week. Some people go bi weekly because they get paid bi weekly. Okay, so we're gonna do 200 here and 200 there. We're gonna do 200 from this check and we're gonna do 200 from that check. Just giving y'all some examples because see, bills are due at a certain time. We all know that the bills are due at a certain time. So split it up if you can split it up. Split it up what's coming out of one check and some coming out of the other. So you're not, like I said, so you're not putting so much on yourself. So, and that's basically, you know, how I do my budget, guys. That's basically how I do it. That first budget, y'all, that, that was an example that I made. But I'm telling you, that first budget was how I used to be. Just in the negative. Already in the negative. Just like, I had to do something to get out of that. I was like, I got to get out of this negative. This ain't working. This ain't going to work. If I'm in the negative already, come on now. It ain't going to work. If you're in the negative already, come on. You got to do something. You got to do something. Figure it out. Write all them bills down. I suggest you write all those. Let me turn this camera around. Y'all saw my little, my little bootleg budgets I made up. Yep, those are my little bootleg budgets I made up, y'all. And that's, that's how you do it. Stick to that budget so you know what you're spending. You know what you have to spend, what you don't have to spend, you know. And if, <clears throat> sorry y'all. And if your, if your income is not higher than your bills, like I said, I gave you a whole bunch of examples of things that you can do. Things that you can do to make, you know, cut corners, make things cheaper, make things better. So that you bring that income. Bring that income so that it's level. You know with your bills and basically let me tell you guys what I did when um because not only that cutting back on this cutting back on that that got me level but it still didn't give me room for like if the girls needed something if I needed something if they wanted something because y'all know how kids is oh well, can you buy me this y'all know how kids is not saying we gotta buy it every time but come on y'all we know how kids are going to the store they want something see what I'm saying I ain't, I ain't have no room I had no room for nothing for them nothing for me I had no room even though I had leveled things off. So you know what I started doing? I started working hard at work. I mean, I work hard every day. Y'all y'all know, know that. I'm not just telling y'all that. I work hard every day. Every day I show up, go to work. And I said, see, if I want that promotion at work, nah, nah, don't, don't. I'm just telling y'all from my experience. I'm not judging nobody. 
I'm just talking from my experience. Now, here it is. My plan is to go ahead and get a promotion at work. But how am I going to get promoted if I'm calling out all the time, not doing the job that I currently have right? How you want another job and you ain't doing the current job right? How you want another position in the company and you ain't even coming to work? You ain't coming on time. You're doing what you want. That's a whole nother video. But I said, okay. I know I'm a hard worker. I know what I do. I know what I bring to the table. I said, you know what? Let me see. Let me see this position. Let me see. Do I qualify for it? Yep, I have all qualifications. I'm going to work hard. Work hard. I'm going to apply for it. I'm going to apply for it. And you know what? I didn't get that position. Okay, that's fine. That, it happens. You're going to apply for positions and you may not get them. It's like it happens. But you know what? Don't let that deter you. Don't let that tear you down. Don't let that make you weak. You know what? I'm going to keep going. You know what I did? I applied for another position. I said, I'm going to keep applying, keep applying. Because so, what I needed, I needed to bring my income up. I said, I'm going to keep applying. I'm going to keep applying. I'm going to keep. Okay. All right. First thing I want to do. Okay. I got my, I learned my couponing. Got my couponing down. So I got my grocery bill down. Okay. I'm teaching other people how to coupon. So I'm making money on the style. Okay. Another source of income. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And, and things were, you know, they were better. But, you know, I had a little bit of breathing room, you know, a little bit of breathing room, but I needed a little bit more breathing room. You know what I mean? So I said, okay. So I was applying for positions at work, applying for positions at work. I'm not going to sit here and say I applied for 10 positions. I'm not going to say that. I, I applied for one or two positions. I ain't get them. Okay. Was I discouraged? Yeah. But I prayed and I said, God, give me the strength to keep going. I kept applying. I kept applying. I kept applying. Then you know what? I got a better position. Because you know why? I go to work every day. I work hard every day. I do what I got to do so that they can say, hey, she work hard. Yeah, we want to get her this position. You know, some positions you just might not get, no matter how hard you work. That's just life. That, come on, y'all. That's just the way it is. So, finally, I was like, okay, now I'm in this position. Now I'm making more financially. Oh, thank you, God. Number one, thank you. You know, so once I got that, okay, so now I'm in a new position, making more money. Okay, so I'm bringing in more money. I'm bringing in more money. Now I'm bringing in more money. Got I'm bringing in more money. I'm making more money at work. I got that little coupon and teaching class on the side. Okay, okay, so now my income going up. And these are my bills. Income going up. So now, got to stay in the camera frame. So now, here it is. My bills are down here and my income up here. And that's what you want. You want that income higher than your bills. You don't want the bills and the income down here. Nah, nah, nah. You want that income up and the bills down here. That's what you want. And that's where I'm at. And you know what? I did not get here easy. I did not get here easy. It wasn't easy. I definitely had to learn self-control to stick to my budget. Gotta have self-control. You gotta have it. It's gonna be hard to stick to a budget if you ain't got no self-control. It's gonna be hard. So you pray and you ask God to give you that self-control that you need. And that's what I did. Pray and ask God to give me. I'm telling you because I couldn't do it by myself. I couldn't do it. I would have just still been doing what I want to do. I said, God, hey, I live for you, God. I, I got to do better. I ain't perfect. I got to do better. I said, okay. And I've been doing my budget, sticking to my budget. I do my budget faithfully. I do my budget faithfully. I get paid every two weeks. I do my budget every two weeks faithfully. Faithfully, because I know, I know where my budget budget has brought me from. <laughs> I know. So that's why I stick to it, because I know how far I've come. I know what I've been through. I know what it's like to struggle. I know what it's like to have a bill due and don't have the money. I know what it's like. Like I said, on my channel, I can only talk to y'all from my experience. I can't talk about nobody else's experience. I can only talk about the things I've been through. That's all I can do. I can only share with y'all what I've been through. And that's what this is. I'm talking to you guys about a budget from my experience. How the budget helped me be better. How the budget helped me, you know, get where I needed to get so I can provide for my kids and provide for myself. You gotta want more in life. You don't want nothing? That's on you. Don't blame nobody else now. Don't blame nobody else for your situation. Don't do it. If you're doing everything you can do to make it better, cutting back, cutting corners, doing this, doing that, doing another stream of income, doing what you got to do, hustling on the side. It'll all come together. It'll all come together because even when I stuck to that budget, I was faithful to my budget. Things didn't, you know, in the beginning they didn't, they were still when my bills was up here and my income was down there. And it took time. It took time. You got to be patient. You got to be patient. Don't be like, oh, I'm doing my budget. I'm sticking to my budget. I did. I said, oh, man, I'm sticking to this budget. This ain't working. This ain't working. I might as well just not be on it. That's what I said. But I 
kept going. I stuck to it. I stuck to it. I stuck to it. Got that promotion. Couponing class on the side. And then you know what? All came together. It all came together. Cause there there was a time if back then when I, when I was struggling, I definitely wouldn't have been able to try to keep up with a YouTube channel. Cause I wouldn't have had nothing to invest in the channel. I'd be digging myself in a deeper hole, trying to buy stuff for YouTube, investing in my channel with money that I ain't got. So see, that's what I mean when I say it's all about God's timing with me, with me now. It's all about God's timing, all about God's timing. So, all right, guys, that's it. That's what I got for you guys. Um. Any anything I can help with, anything that you guys want my opinion on, my experience on, you know, you can ask me and say, hey, can you do this? It's either a yes or no, because yes, I I love helping people, so I would definitely say yes if it's something that I can do. But if you ask me to do a video on something that I don't have any experience in, I'll have to let you know, hey, I'm sorry, I don't I don't really know that well. I've never been through that. I don't know. You might want to Google it, you might want to go on YouTube, everything on YouTube, you know. So you know, I'm not going to sit here and say yes to something that I don't know about. I don't, you know, I can get, y'all know me, I will Google, I will get that knowledge in a minute about something. Now, don't get me wrong now. I will do that in a minute. I'll Google it, I'll learn. That's how I learned about YouTube. Nobody taught me. I went on, I went on YouTube and I learned. I learned for myself. Learned how to edit. I went online. I went on Google. I went on YouTube. That's how I learned. I got that knowledge. That's why it sticks to me when I say knowledge is power because it is. Once you learn something, once you get the knowledge about something, it makes you powerful so that you are able to do things. Once I got that knowledge about a budget, it made me powerful to make me a better person so I can be a better person for my kids. That's all I got for y'all. I can only speak to y'all from my experience. I, I, I can't do it from nobody else's perspective, nobody else's um, experience. I can't do it. I can only do it from mine. I can only share what I've been through. So, there's, you know, anything y'all want. You know me to do a video on you know if I can do it I'm gonna do it you know if I you know if I got the knowledge on I'll do it and you know what if it's something that I don't know like you want to know how to bake a strawberry cake y'all know I'll be cooking so of course if I don't know it I'm gonna google it and find out be like hey yeah girl I'm gonna research that I'll find out I mean I'm just you know making up something y'all know I know how to make a strawberry cake not from scratch not from scratch be a crackle Duncan Hines <laughs> y'all that is it that is video one and two of my um how to budget series don't really know what i'm gonna call it but that's it guys uh that's some of the knowledge that i have i didn't, I didn't want to make these videos 30 40 50 minutes long i did not want to do that so um you know because you know people ain't gonna watch too long so hopefully you guys saw the full video number one number two like i said i will put uh video two um if you have on one i'll put two and on two i'll put one so i can make sure which either one you look at you'll have both videos so all right guys that is it for me arika misha thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on all my social media at arika misha and don't forget guys knowledge is power Thanks, guys. Bye.